guys, it's me, Savannah, and it's time for the next live vlog. This vlog is coming to you from South Florida. Hopefully the Wi-Fi hangs in here. This is Lorelei behind me right now, and I have been on a crazy adventure, but I got to a place where I have some Wi-Fi. Hi, Christina. And I wanted to just check in with you guys and let you know that I'm gonna have an upload on Wednesday from some really cool stuff we did uh, earlier in the week. Where, hi New York City, hi Indiana, hi Amethyst Rock, hi Sequoia, hi Joanna. Um, so I am in South Florida right now and I just went on a crocodile survey today and then last night I was out in Everglades National Park where I did some um, just for snakes with some friends of mine down here and uh, they may or may not pop in because they're watching football right now. Thank you JG32 for your super chat donation. I do appreciate that. Every little bit helps and Gatorland Global has some big projects. Well, some big, big projects coming up that I just found out about this week. So as soon as the boss man gives me the go ahead, I'll be able to tell you guys about it. Keep it positive, Liz San Juan. That's what's up. Um, hi, Jim. How are you? Hi, Charleston, South Carolina. Um, yeah, so Mike Heilman's not here. He's at work or he's, it's past four. So he's probably not at work at Gatorland. But, um, Thank you to Nick Davis for your super chat donation. Um, yeah, so I was talking to Liz San Juan and Chevron Kelly and Jim earlier today because they're in the mod chat with me and we were talking about whether or not I was going to be live and I didn't think I was going to be live today because I was out doing croc survey and then they were like, you know, we're at home doing laundry and Savannah's out doing stuff with crocodiles and that's the craziest thing. But I do laundry too, just like everyone else, and uh, and uh, I just haven't done mine for a very long time, so I got some pretty dirty clothes going on. So we have, uh, I ha there's a Galapagos tortoise in the backyard where I'm at right now, and oh, Jennifer Morley, thank you for your super chat donation. You're so awesome. Leslie Dunlap, thank you for your super chat donation. That's so fantastic. So yeah, I am working, but it's just a different kind of work than laundry. And I, by the way, I hate doing laundry. So buckshot's off to the side. I have some bananas. And I tried to set up how I was going to hang out with buckshot a different way. But buckshot kind of bum rushed me. So I had to move. Uh, <laughs> but buckshot may or may not come over here in a minute. Hopefully buckshot will. Larlai will come over here. Larlai! Come here, Larlai! Larlai! Come here, Larlai! Larlai, here, here! Come on! So, uh, I just wanted to chat with you guys and see how you guys... Jim Folky, thank you so much for your super chat donation. Come here, Larlai. Come say hi. Come on, Larlai. Larlai, look. Look at all those people out there. Look at all those people out there. See those people? <laughs> so, Larlai is uh, a friend of mine's dog, and I'm not going to tell you my friend's name because they may or may not pop into this video, and then it'll be a surprise for you guys. Um, if you are watching the video right now, I know it's not as usually as exciting as feeding alligators, but you can still give it a thumbs up, and you can chill out and hang out with me right now. Shout out to Lori from New Jersey. Larlai. Ah. Uh, and uh yeah jennifer i love lorelei lorelei's so sweet i can't have a dog because i travel too much and it wouldn't be fair shout out to misty how are you um so i just hang out with lorelei when i come down to south florida so if you guys have any questions about anything please just ask away um i do have bananas for uh buckshot if buckshot does decide to come over um and if she doesn't that's okay too because you know, Galapagos tortoises sometimes are kind of uh, kind of snippy. <laughs> and if I did one live video by myself and got bit by a tortoise, that would be the most ridiculous thing in the world for an alligator and crocodile trainer for that to happen. Um, so, how have you guys been? Are you guys doing good? <laughs> Anything new and exciting in your life? Uh, like I was saying, thanks for the super chat donations. Um, we have a big Gatorland Global project coming up that's going to be amazing. And I'm going to be traveling to probably 
Venezuela uh, to do some Orinoco crocodile stuff. It's all in the works right now, so I don't want to tell you too much. Uh, jam crocs are American crocodiles, Jennifer. Um, they just call them jam crocs because they're American crocodiles in Jamaica. It's okay, Anna Metallica. You don't have to. Uh, and so I think I think Buckshot might come over here if she wants to. Steffi, you can come in and say hi if you want. You don't have you don't have to stay over there. This is my friend Stephanie, and I'm at her house right now. Oh look, there's a superstar hi, coming hi. in right now. Um, two superstars actually. You got to come to this side. Okay. First Buckshot's coming. Come on, Buckshot. Buckshot's kind of grumpy. Oh, the puppy's name is Lorelai. This is Stephanie. Um, and uh, I just wanted to check in and do a live. I will have an upload on Wednesday, but I haven't been able to. No, Buckshot. I haven't been able to do it yet. Thank you so much, Lori Giraldi, for your super chat donation. We do appreciate all those donations because they go to help us with uh, Gatorland Global projects. Oh, Buckshot. <laughs> oh, no, I got to put the camera down so you guys can see Buckshot. Buckshot! Ah! Look at that, you guys. <laughs> Buckshot! So this is Buckshot. Buckshot is a Galapagos tortoise. And how old is Buckshot, 70? Born and hatched out in 92. Hatched out in 1992. Buckshot, you're making a mess. Ah! Oh my gosh. Buckshot, I got... Oh! <laughs> Buckshot's getting all crazy in here. Um, uh, so I'm gonna back up just a little bit. No, Buckshot, don't eat it on your own. We're trying to show people how you eat. Turn around, Buckshot. Look right here. Um, we all had a good... <laughs> Buckshot, don't step on me. If you ever got stepped on by a tortoise, you would know that it's a really heavy, heavy uh, thing. Um, trying to check the super chat now. Somebody, it looks like somebody just donated. I appreciate your donations in the super chat. Buckshot! Buckshot! Wait, can you hand me that? Ah! Buckshot is a messy eater, that is for sure. I'm gonna try to turn this camera around real quick so I can show you. Buckshot, you're stepping on my toe! Buckshot, you're stepping on my toe! So yeah, this is Buckshot. Oh my gosh! Buckshot, don't bite my fingers. Oh my gosh, thank you Jocelyn for your super chat donation. And thank you to Jennifer Morley for your super chat donation. We really appreciate it. This new big Gatorland Global project coming up is gonna be amazing. Look at Buckshot's face. Buckshot, you're out of control, man. There's Buckshot. And I'm gonna show you who's here with me right now in a second. You can peek around if you want to. Ah! <laughs> so we're here with Joe Wazalewski. In-law or daughter? How is that? Oh, and Buckshot's eating like a champ. Buckshot, seriously? Watch your fingers. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why is she so hungry today? <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, Buckshot, take this last piece because you're going crazy. If you guys have any, oh, Ow. oh, Buckshot, oh, I dropped no. it. Oh, no, and you stepped oh, on the no. other one, Buckshot. All right, Joe, you feed her, and I'm going to film you. Okay. So if you guys have any questions for Joe or Stephanie about anything, uh, I was just telling them how embarrassed I would be if I got bit by a tortoise and I never gotten bit by an alligator live. That would be ridiculous. Be so what do we do today, Joe? Uh, we went out to... Uh South Florida to look at crocodiles and crocodile nesting areas. And <laughs> we saw crocs, we saw nesting areas, we saw old nests, and yep. we saw real special snakes. Yeah? Yeah. What do, oh yeah, that's right. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. So uh, I don't know if you guys know what a Florida indigo snake is. It's a cousin of Brian Barchek's black tail Crebo. They're all dry march on. Is that how you pronounce it? Dry right, march on. Um, and, and you hardly ever see them in Florida anymore, at least wild ones. And we actually saw one today and it was so fantastic, like buckshot. So you guys think tortoises are slow, right? Because that's what people tell you. But oh, no, a tortoise will move. knock you out in a second. They can move. <laughs> and they can move as fast as they want to move. Buckshot. Yes, I know. The indigo snakes are my fave. 
Uh, I can't wait until uh, I can't wait until we do a Gatorland Global project with Indigo Snakes. That'll be super exciting. But like I was saying, we have a new project coming up for Gatorland Global, and it's going to be fantastic. And you guys are going to love it. And it involves big, gigantic crocodiles, and it's going to be super cool. Um, thank you, Jocelyn Erlacher, working on making more of the Halloween Gatorland painted rocks. Any wishes or suggestions from the Gatorland crew? Um, I think it would be cool for us to have like some some swamp ghost rocks if you want to make some of those and thank you for your super chat donation We really do appreciate it. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Look at buckshot still back there eating <laughs> um, So Joe went to get actually an, uh, an indigo snake so he can show it to you guys because he has one um, and uh, Let's see. Let's see there may or may not be some hatchlings coming. Uh, hi, Lori. How are you? Thank you for all your support. You're wonderful. I'm sorry about your computer, Amethyst Rock. Um, oh, Buckshot. You see Buckshot's about to beat me up over here. She wants to wipe her face on you. Buckshot. <laughs> Buckshot, you see anybody you like in there? <laughs> Can he say something for the people? Buckshot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Joe brought us something cool to look at. Uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see it. And as always, Joe is Gatorland liaison when it comes to uh, Gatorland Global Projects. And I'm gonna turn the camera, Joe, so they can see just you, so okay. I can read the comments at the same time. Okay. And you sit over there with Buckshot. All right. So, what you got there, Joe? So what we have here is uh, the type of snake we saw today. This is an Eastern Indigo. Uh, this one, by the way, is fully permitted. You can't keep them. They're, they're, uh, uh, you need special uh, authorization from the state to keep them. I had this since it was a hatchling. And this grows to be the largest snake in snake the United States. Wow. They can get over eight feet long, Savannah. Buckshot's about to eat my yeah, shoe. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is what we saw, but we saw a wild one today. And uh, and it's it's the first one I've ever seen in the state of Florida, so I was very excited about that. Um, and uh, I've never seen a wild indigo snake until today, so that was like one of the best things in the world that could ever happen. Oh! <laughs> so I can't see the super chat anymore for some reason, and I can't see any comments anymore. Or maybe they're coming back now. So sorry. Buckshot. Buckshot's, oh, shout out to Salem, Oregon. Do you guys have any questions for Joe? They said you're the original gangster, Joe. You're the OG. Oh, you're I've the OG. i a while, so <laughs> I'm sorry if the live stream is lagging. I'm kind of far from where the Wi-Fi is, but I'm doing the best I can. No one else has said it was lagging. Um, thank you, Jennifer Morley, for your $30 Super Chat donation. I appreciate it. Um, it'll help us a lot with this new project that we have coming up. Um, I don't know if Joe knows about the new project, but we'll have, we'll keep it a secret. That way we can surprise him. Um, I'm lagging and not clear. I don't know. Is it better this way? Is it better this way? Huh? Okay. Um, how old is Buckshot again? Buckshot was hatched in August of 1992. August of 1992. Yeah, so she's, uh, oh, geez, next year she's going to be 30. Wow. Shout out to Michael Brown for a trainer for a day today. I'm so glad the trainer for a day worked out great. Buckshot is a female. Um, okay, so is it better from this way, Femme Fatale? Thank you very much. Uh, we love all the people in England. How old is the snake, Joe? The snake is three years old. And no, they're not venomous. But uh, they are different. Thank you, Deb Smith, for your Super Chat donation. So indigo snakes are different. In the, I mean, they can constrict. Um, but what they prefer to do is catch their prey, much like Marshall the Kookaburra, and beat it on stuff <laughs> before they eat it. So it's really cool to watch an indigo snake eat. Um, you can see from California now. All right. What's the bite force of a tortoise? Ooh, I don't know. Stephanie, do you know that? Does, what's a what's a bite pressure from a tortoise? I mean, you could do some injury to a finger. Yeah, I got bit by the tortoise at Gatorland one time, and it hurt pretty bad. 
So, uh, I, I don't want to get bit again. Um, hang on one second. Whoa! Dusty Ashes just donated $500 to the Super Chat? Hi, Savannah. I'm so happy I caught a live vlog. I've been wanting to give this to Gatorland Global for a while. Now, I was there in June and I saw you're back from far away. I'm hopefully bringing the kids to Orlando the week after Christmas and I'm definitely going to Gatorland. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Dusty Ashes. Send me an Instagram message or you can email me at savannahbone at gatorland.com and I'll make sure that you get a great tour when you come. And that's a very, very generous donation, Joe, don't you think? Oh man, really? $500? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. Anna Metallica, you can't adopt Buckshot because Buckshot lives here with Joe. What else you guys to show us, Joe? Well, this is let, Joe's backyard. Just to let you know, this one is... And look at her behind you. <laughs> Here, let me do this. Oh, she pee peed. Oh, she's pee peeing oh, on me. Oh, my goodness. So you're going to have good luck. <laughs> Is that good yeah, luck? It's good luck. Look at the difference. Can you show that? Yeah, but I can't move because if I do it, look at Can you guys see the difference? That little teeny thing on top of that big old thing? Cool. <laughs> what else you got, Joe? Everything from Joe's backyard. And thank you again, Dusty Ashes, for that generous donation. That's. That's super special that you did that. There you oh, go. baby there American Crocodiles! So we went out to um, we went out to some secret spots today, and we saw some American crocodiles out there, and uh, and it was amazing. But nothing is as cute as these little nuggets right here. So cute! Aren't they cute? Yeah, I'm trying to see where everybody's at. Hang on. Sometimes you have to restart this. Can you guys still see us? Hello. Uh oh, the Wi-Fi might have gone out, Joe. Oh well. Not oh Sorry. well. Sorry. Maybe we need to go closer to the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see if it if it kicks Actually, back up. You could go on the porch now because <sighs> Is anybody still out there? Hello. Huh? Yeah, I'll go get my other stuff. Yeah, I got them in my hand. Can you guys see me? What's happening? It's like frozen. Hmm. I'm not sure what is happening. Uh, the Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi does not appear to be working. All right, are you guys still there? There. Hello? Are you guys still there now? This is Stephanie and she's Hi. with the snake. My oh, okay, okay, you can see me now. So it just looks like it finally popped back on. So let's walk just over too here. too far away. We're, yeah, we were too far away. I apologize, but I wanted to show you guys Buckshot. Here, Steph, I'll trade you. You I wanted to show you guys Buckshot. Okay, can you guys see us now? The world calling Savannah, we see you. Okay, great, got it, got it. Now you guys are, now we're back together. There's also a dinosaur in this backyard, <laughs> if you guys didn't know. <laughs> Look at that. Rawr! <laughs> Joe's got the best backyard because there's all kinds of crazy animals in it and it's so much fun. So let's see if the Wi-Fi works right here. I'm just gonna sit back down right here and then I'll keep talking to you guys and we can talk to you guys about these little crocodiles we have um, in Joe's backyard. Yeah, the dinosaur's cool, right? I wish I had a dinosaur in my backyard <laughs> but I don't have a backyard really all right whoops all right now you're in loud maybe maybe all right there we go now we're back Joe okay now we did it <laughs> yeah I'm gonna change the name of this video to Joe's backyard <laughs> so these are very baby American crocodiles and uh, these were hatched out at Zoo Miami, right? Yep. Zoo Miami, and they all belong to Joe Wazalewski. Some of these babies will be coming to Gatorland very soon, and that will be great. And we'll be very excited to see them. Do you guys have questions about them? Great, now I see you, but no other chatting. I don't know, the Wi-Fi keeps going in and out. I, I don't know what to do about that. Um, Gatorland tickets extended for UK visitors. You got, you got season passes for 2021. That's exciting. Jim Folky is one of our biggest supporters and wants to tell you, hey, Joe. What? Jim Folky is one of our biggest supporters and he wants me to tell you hello. Hey, hey. <laughs> and everybody wishes they were in Joe's backyard. 
Um, yeah, I'm glad you can see in here good. So these were hatched out at Zoo Miami. Joe's crocodiles are living at Zoo Miami right now. And the strange thing about it is these crocodiles hatched out in February, which is not the time that they're supposed to hatch out. Um, but that's when they hatched out either way. Joe and Fred do have the best backyards, Liz San Juan. That is exactly right. Um, so these babies hatched out in February. So February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So eight months old. Do male alligators and crocodiles make good daddies? I think it depends on the individual animal. I've heard stories that some of them really do. And I've heard stories that some of them really don't. And you know what? Big shout out to you guys for all the super chat donations today. That is really amazing. And the boss man's gonna be super excited. Oh, also on Wednesday when I put up the vlog, the boss man is in the vlog. Um, and you guys are gonna love his part because he is the one who almost got eaten that time. But I didn't have time to um I didn't have time to uh edit the vlog yet because I've been working on different projects and then I came down south and then I have friends in town from from Mexico and friends in town from Texas that are all crocodile specialists and even a friend here from Colombia. Um, so we've all been doing crocodile stuff all weekend and it was really, it was really an intense weekend, but super fun. Um, we did another thing that once I get the boss man's approval, I'll be able to tell you about and you guys will be super excited about that. We will Liz San Juan get some pumpkins chunked for the gators. I miss him too, Sarah. Thank you so much. Hey, Mystic Winsmana, good to see you here. Um, good to see everybody, actually. Like, you guys are so, you guys are so awesome. And, yes, the boss man is the man. So, keep keep hitting that thumbs up, you guys. And, uh, and I hope you like the video from Jamaica. That's the video right underneath this one. Um, they're doing some great stuff with the Jam Crocs there. They just found some uh smaller american crocodiles in a community there and treya was able to go there and then uh speak with the kids and the people in the community and talk to them about the crocodiles and you know very thankful that those people turn those crocodiles in and give them gatorland global bracelets for the jam crocs and uh that was really cool so if i made a bracelet like a straight to youtube bracelet like this what do you guys think that it should say? Thank you so much, Heather, for your $9.99 Super Chat donation. Shout out to Lucy. Lucy was in the Jam Croc video, and Lucy loves Joe Wazalewski, but Joe just went back inside. So um, if I did make some bracelets, what do you guys think they should say? Like if I made some bracelets and I sold them, uh, however you sell stuff on YouTube, I really don't know. <coughs> what do you think they should say? It should say crocodiles, not Crocs, Gatorland Global. Yeah, we should make a Gatorland Global bracelet for sure. Um, hey, Flutter, how are you? Uh, you guys are so awesome. Uh, we probably will do a live. Um, we probably will do a live on, uh, on Halloween. And yes, don't eat the Wi-Fi. Don't eat. Oh, that's what it should say. Oh, I get it now. So it should say Gatorland Global, don't eat the Wi-Fi. That's really, really, really good. I like that a lot. Don't eat the Wi-Fi. Listen, I accidentally left my other phone back there and I'm pretty sure that uh, Buckshot's gonna step on it and break it. Um, don't eat the Wi-Fi is really good. So thank you again, Heather, for your super chat donation. Thank you, Jim Folky. Thank you, Jennifer Morley. And super shout out, thank you to Dusty Ashes. Please email me before you come to the park. I would love to give you a tour. That's a fantastic donation that you gave us. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, hi, Sheridan, 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 Arkansas. Um, thank you so much. Anyway, so this baby, I'm gonna put him down here with me right now. Thank you, Nikki Bounty for, Nikki Bounty for your super chat donation. I really do appreciate it. Um, and I just appreciate you guys being here, whether you, I mean, I love it when you can donate, but if you can't, that's okay too. I'm not mad at you. Everybody's got their own struggles to deal with. I know I sure do. And so if you can, that's great. We love it if you help, but if you can't, that's okay. Just watch, watch the video that's underneath this one and you'll like it. And there's lots of cool stuff. Cause, cause okay, low key, 
when I was in Jamaica and I got to do all that really cool stuff with uh, Joey Brown, like I felt like I felt like the strongest, like toughest, like last one crocodile woman in the world. So that was a fantastic experience. And if you guys didn't see that video, you can scroll down. Um, don't worry about it, Liz San Juan. It's good. You do enough work. You you work for Gatorland all the time. Um, Jessica, that's because you are here with me. Crazy. <laughs> Um, okay, your dog, what's your dog's name, Lori? Uh, and I think, yeah, I think we should make Gatorland Global Bracelets to say don't eat the Wi-Fi. I think you guys, I think you guys hit the nail on the head right there. Because that's kind of funny on every level. Like, it's funny on the level of, you know, it's our inside joke with our YouTube channel. But then it's also funny on the level of, what the heck does don't eat the Wi-Fi mean? And where else in the world could you even eat the wi-fi except for at gatorland that's the only place thank you stephanie you know, buckshot was rubbing the oh i knew buckshot was gonna i knew buckshot was gonna ruin my stuff thank you stephanie so this is oh buckshot so this is my new um this is my new hydro flask and no this is not a brand endorsement it's just something that i have um and then i got stickers on it and it keeps my ice and my water good all day how can we get a gator? Hang on. But seriously, how can we get a gator land over here in the Bronx Zoo? They show Chinese alligators and one or two Cuban crocs now. Um, I don't know. You you could probably reach out to the oops. You could probably reach out to the zoo and talk to them and maybe they would want to work with us. Um, I know that I don't know if you guys know Miriam that works in the petting zoo at Gatorland. She used to work for the Bronx Zoo. So she may or may not have a, a couple connections. I'm not sure. So we were out in the hot all day today, and I'm probably sunburned. Oh, your pet rats almost ate your Wi-Fi. What, Jennifer? That's crazy. So you should for sure have a don't eat the Wi-Fi bracelet. Um, so maybe we'll make a couple different kinds of bracelets, and then you guys can pick which ones, and whichever ones sell really good, then we'll, we'll do more. But we'll make sure they're only like, I don't know, five bucks, ten bucks, something like that, something everybody can afford, because I don't even know... I don't even know how to order merch for the channel, but I'm going to try to figure it out. Um, and thank you to all the people that bought the Gatorland Global shirts. Um, yeah, I'm glad you love what we're doing with the Jam Crocs. The Jam Crocs are awesome. Thank you so much, Kenny Ray, for your $10 Super Chat donation. I love how you put together your show. I watch it all the time. Sometimes I feel like there should be more people like you helping out these beautiful animals. Well, there are a lot of people like in the house, in Joe's house right now. There's um, my friend Louise Ziegler, who is from the Dallas World Aquarium, and he was down here to have a meeting with us. Oh my gosh, thank you, Jennifer Morley, for your $20 Super Chat donation again. Let me see if I can call Louise and Robinson out here. Um, Louise! <laughs> Louise! I don't know if he could hear me in the house, but maybe he'll come outside and say hi. So Louise Ziegler is a vet and he's a curator of animals at the Dallas World Zoo. And he came to Gatorland to work on a couple different projects with us. So I'd like to introduce him to you guys while we have a little spare time here. Uh, say hi, Louise. Hey, how are you guys? So Louise works with an amazing project, an Orinoco project. And the project is all of these babies that are hatched out of the United States get to go back to Venezuela and Orinoco crocodiles are critically endangered. So tell them, tell them a little bit about it, Luis. Well, we have these babies hatched in two institutions this year, uh, the Gladys Porter Zoo in Brownsville, Texas, and here in Florida in the Zoo, Miami. So we have 35 hatchlings that we are going to put in some institutions to grow up a little bit for one or two years. And then we're sending all of them to Venezuela to repopulate the populations in the wild. So we have connections with the Venezuelan government and the Venezuelan experts, and this is going to be a nice project. We have been doing this for some time, and the first animals that we sent to Venezuela are now uh, parents with, from wild populations there, wild hatchlings, and we are so excited to continue this project. Yeah, and so Luis and the boss man had a big meeting, and I don't want to tell you guys too much now, but it looks like me and Luis might be making a trip to Venezuela, right? Hopefully, yeah, next year. <laughs> and that will be so great. So thank you for all your Super Chat donations because those are definitely going to help us get this project to the finish line. And uh, we're super happy to be a part of it. 
Yes, of course. Woo Thank you. Thanks for coming wow. out. So you're going to see a lot more from Louise. You might remember him from the Belize video as well. He's the one that did the dental surgery on Sam the Crocodile that was in Belize with uh, Marissa and the Crocodile Research Coalition. So Luis is, he's, he's pretty much a superstar. Like all these people that are the crocodile people that I hang out with, like Luis Siegler, Joey Brown, Joe Wazalewski, Lawrence Enriquez, they're all like the top level crocodile people in the world. So it is really my honor to have them be a part of anything that we do. And we're super proud to be a part of the things that they have going on. Did you guys see that? I just almost burped because I just ate a Cuban sandwich. Because when you're in Miami, you have to eat Cuban sandwiches because that's what you do when you're in Miami. And so I apologize. Um, so do you guys have any more questions? Do you want to talk about anything else? Thank you to, hang on. Thank you to Jennifer Morley again, whose rats tried to eat her Wi-Fi. So Jennifer, you're going to get the first don't eat the Wi-Fi bracelet for sure. Um, I'll have to get your address so I can send it to you, but you can email that to me. Um, and then we can talk about that. So for some reason, now I can't see any of your messages anymore. Everything just kind of went down. I don't know if you guys are still there. Um, maybe the Wi-Fi shut off. Uh, hello. Hello. Oh no, now I'm just talking to myself. That's, oh wait, now you're back. Hi Jim, how are you? Now you're back. What food do you not like, Enrique? Um, all right, Sarah Hines, I see you there. Hi, R. Clark, um, nice to see you and everybody else in there. Oh no, there can't be another delay. I just was sitting here, I didn't even move. Do daddy alligators and crocodiles actually interact with their offspring. Um, if it's a gharial, the fathers take good care of them. And thank you so much, Elmira Darkness, that you love my eyeshadow. Um, the brand that I use is called Urban Decay, but I do like Jeffree Star Cosmetics too. Shout out to Daroni Clark from Jamaica. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> Uh, hi, Amanda Lynn. I'm glad you had fun zip lining. That was really great. Uh, Amy Phillips, H&M. You're beautiful. And everybody that's in here is beautiful. And everybody that's in here that has helped from the beginning. Yes, there's a big difference between an indigo snake and a black racer. Big difference. Um, so, Omar Gosh is, is, uh, come on, Joey. So this is Joe's grandson, and his name is Joey. You want to say hi, Joey? Hello. <laughs> and Joey is actually like a, a prodigy musician. Is that the right thing to say? Um, and so this morning when we were having breakfast here at Joe's, he was playing piano for us, and I didn't even know it was him playing. I thought they had a recording playing, and then I found out that it was Joey. So Joey is pretty amazing. You can sit down, Joey, if you want. Oh, you're handing it to me? Oh, it just pee peed all over me. So that's two times I got pee peed on today. Everyone's saying hi to you, Joey. If you have questions for Joey, you can feel free to ask. Um, and, uh, oh, you're playing piano tonight, Femme Fatale? That's awesome. So what's your favorite instrument? Um, I play piano and trombone right now. Yeah, can you play a B flat on a trombone? Yeah. So that's what makes the alligators start to bellow. Did you know that? Alligators in the key of D B flat, right? There's a book all about it. Um, thanks for coming over, Joey. You're you guys say bye to Joey. Joey's the sweetest. He's like the sweetest kid that's a teenager. Like most teenagers are out of control, but he's like the sweetest. And I went to his Boy Scout barbecue yesterday with Luis and my friend Robinson and Joe, and we had a great, great dinner. Everybody says bye, Joey. <laughs> Um, uh, let's see. What else do you guys want to talk about? Do you guys want to talk about anything else? Yeah, so it's B-flat. So there's a book called Alligators in the Key of B-flat, and you guys can look for it. Savannah, I was the biggest donor. Please answer. Dusty Ashes, what was your question again? I'm sorry. I must not have seen it go by. Um, ask me your question again, and I'll answer it for you. Um... Yeah, so it's the key of B flat that makes them start to bellow. 
And I did not get your question, Dusty Ashes. You want to see crocodiles crushing bones? That's not the Dusty Ashes who donated. Hmm. How is Buddy? Buddy is good. Buddy is really big. Buddy's doing great. Um, Sassy Sue would be a good name. My trip to Jamaica was amazing. I love Jamaica. I've been there four times this year. This past trip that I went, we got so much work done. Uh, had a wonderful, wonderful time there with uh, Treya and Joey and Lawrence and Yan and everyone. And if you want to see what we did while we were in Jamaica and you want to see how like your views and your and your donations went to work, you can scroll down. The next video down is, uh, is the video from Jamaica. And then I'll have another upload for you guys on Wednesday. Um, and the video on Wednesday is going to be great. So uh, I, I already know it's going to be great. And I haven't even edited it yet. I don't know why my camera's breaking up. I'm not moving it. It should be perfect. I'm sitting right outside in the same spot. Can Gatorland Global get a Gatorland in Scotland? England has Komodo dragons and we don't have much. We want to have a Komodo dragon at Gatorland. We just don't have one yet. Um, hang on, hang on. There's a crocodile park in Townsville. Townsville, that's where the Powerpuff Girls live. Uh, called Billabong Sanctuary. It has some amazing animals, a lot of kangaroos. Um, I'll have to come there next time I come back to Australia on the way from California trying to catch one of your lives. Oh, thanks so much, Carol Edwards. Dusty Ashes, I think you were, but people gave lots of donations over and over. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, Kayla will find you on Facebook, uh, Chevron. Kayla will find you for sure. Kayla's a good Facebooker. So Dusty Ashes is the one who gave us a super big donation today. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone else that donated. If it was a dollar, if it was a hundred dollars, if it was, you know, whatever, we'll accept it. Uh, Bubbles is doing good. Ah, that's so funny. You remember that from last week. Bubbles is doing great, actually. I'm glad we named her Bubbles. Um, let's see. What else could I tell you guys? So we had meetings with the boss man. Hi, a friend. We had meetings with the boss man and then came to South Florida and we did a couple things that I filmed that I don't want to tell you about yet because you're going to love to see the video. Um, Blondie did have hatch out babies this year. Blondie hatched out some babies this year. I don't know. Did we not show them to you guys yet? We might not have. Uh, shout out to Melanie. Uh, shout out to Jaws. Um, some of our white alligators are breeding and some of them aren't. Uh, Liz San Juan said, I live for these lives. My life sucks and it's been so much better. Thank you so much, Savannah, for everything you do. You know what, Liz? You've been a big supporter from the beginning and I appreciate you so much. And I'm sorry if you're having a hard time right now, but I love you. Did you see Tyler's recent upload? No, what did Tyler do? I did not see that. I did not see his recent upload. Um, happy Canadian Thanksgiving, everyone. Um, yes. So Jessica, so there's some things changing around at Gatorland and we are going to have more uploads a week. We're probably going to have at least three uploads a week. Oh, Joey's going to play you guys some music. Joey's going to play some music. Oh, this is going to be great. Come over here so they can see you. Oh, you're just going to play B flat, but you can play. Can you play a song? Um, part of a song? I think so. Okay. Wait, like, can they see you? Hang on. Everybody's very excited. Um, oh, I'm no. Play a song. Yeah. Okay, there. Now they can see you. Okay. Um. just jumped up on the couch oh my gosh my dog just jumped up off the floor good job joey thank you so much such talented people i'm around all the time that was great you guys give joey a big thumbs up uh for that because that was awesome we'll have to get joey to come to gatorland and play that b b flat note and see if all the alligators will start bellowing that'll be a super fun vlog to do I want to let you know that I'm going to be a grandma. Renee is going to be a grandma. My daughter's going to have a miracle baby. And well, congratulations, Renee.
Congratulations! Um, well, have fun doing your chores, Indoraptor. Thanks for being with us. Um, let's see. Robinson, come here! I want you to meet my friend Robinson, who works with Black Cayman. He's from Colombia. He lived in Brazil for a while. And um, you should say hello to him because he's probably going to be... We're probably going to have a Black Cayman project coming up soon, and you guys are going to want to know him so you have a frame of reference. Come say hi. <laughs> Come say. So this is Robinson. Hey. And Robinson, where are How you are from? You? I am from Colombia. You're from. And what do you do, Robinson? Uh, I work in for many years in Brazil, working with Black Cayman. Uh huh. Yeah, for almost twelve years. Yeah. Yes, and just now I finished my dissertation. We had fun. We had a fun weekend, huh? Oh, the best weekend. Of the, <laughs> the best one. Thank you so much. It's really good chatting time with you, with Joe, with Luis, with everyone. So you guys are going to see more of Robinson in some upcoming videos. Once we get this Black Cayman project going, it's going to be great. And then he's going to be part of the Gatorland family because he was in on all the special secret meetings we had this weekend that I can't talk about too much. <laughs> um, but I'll tell you more about him later. Thank you for okay. coming out here. Bye-bye. <laughs> So I just want you guys to know that I love you guys so much and I feel like that we all collectively together, not just me, but me, you, and you, and you, and everybody in here, and everybody at Gatorland, and Joe Wazalewski, and all of the great relationships that we're making with you guys, as well as um, people in the crocodile community, it's all coming together. And, you know, so this vision that I had of like, you know, the whole crocodile world embracing like social media like so in my mind it has to work like this there has to be influencers there have to be scientists there have to be doctors there have to be conservationists there have to be biologists there have to be so many different parts work for conservation you know and all of those parts you know work together right and so now that all of this is coming together and it's coming together because of the help from you guys and because of the support for the channel and Gatorland Global and all of these things coming together are just gonna help so many crocodiles you guys and you know from the time that I started this channel you guys have been so awesome and supportive of me uh, even when we were only at like we would only get like 20 views a video and now because of you guys like this channel is really like taken off and we have a solid fan you know like a really solid fan base and I just want you guys to know that this weekend was one of the best ones of my life and but none of it would be possible without you guys and without all the support I get from the boss man and my Kyle man. I know I'm about to cry. I'm not going to cry because it's because it's really it's really just um, I'm just the tears are, are like fill from joy. You got to get her like global t-shirt in Germany. Oh, my gosh. That's so great. Um, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm going to pull it back together. I'm going to pull it back together. But um, we're a team, you know, the scientists, the doctors, the conservationists, the politicians that work for the welfare of the animals, Gatorland, you know, some of these other facilities that we're going to be working with soon, Gatorama. Um, we, were, we spent the day, a lot of the day at Zoo Miami yesterday. Um, you know, all of these, all of these entities coming together and, and being one big part of like conservation, I think is the most important thing that can ever happen. And um, they are not, Chris. <laughs> and uh, I just love you guys so much. And I hope that you know that. And uh, I hope that you can sometime come to Gatorland and see me. And thank you just so much for being as awesome as you guys all are. And, uh, and I love you very much. Here in a few minutes, I got to drive back to Orlando, which is four hours away, by the way. Um, so, uh, so I just wanted to let you guys know what I was doing this weekend. And don't forget on Wednesday, we'll have a new upload with the boss man who almost fell off a bridge and got eaten by my man, which was ridiculous. Mike and I told him not to go up there and he did it anyways. But you guys will love that. It'll be really funny. But until then, um, check that like button, smash notifications on, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends to too. I love you guys. You're in my heart always. And I will see you again on Wednesday and I'll talk to you in the comments if I can make Robinson drive the car home. <laughs> I love you guys. 
thank you so much for everything. You're, you're just the best. You're making my life complete.